all request recipe comes to you courtesy of Cole's Mom 814, Realiva C, Lorraine Julian Stazek, and Charlie Jubb. Everybody, they were clamoring for a quinoa recipe, so we're giving you quinoa. Some people wanted to learn about fish, so we're giving you a little fish on top of it. Today's recipe, quinoa with tilapia. I'm starting off by rinsing my quinoa just to rinse off any of the excess starch. Some people say it gets rid of excess bitterness. I'm not sure I believe that, but I'm doing it anyway. I have one cup of quinoa. Put it into a two quart pot. Make sure it's nice and small. You don't want it too spread out or the water will evaporate too quickly. Add one and a half cups water. Most packages say two cups water for one cup of quinoa. I find that's kind of not a great ratio and it gets overcooked and mushy if you do that. So I use one to one and a half a teaspoon of salt, and then all you do is bring it to a boil. Once it's in a boil, you wanna turn it down to a simmer, cover it, and cook it for about 15 minutes. You wanna season your fish. So people are also a little bit afraid of cooking fish. Tilapia is a great starter fish because it's really easy to cook. It doesn't really fall apart. It's a thin filet and it's a delicate flavored fish but it's quite firm. Don't let the fish intimidate you. Season with salt and paprika on both sides. It's about three quarters of a teaspoon all told. Heat your nonstick skillet. This is a large nonstick skillet. You're not supposed to heat it without oil in it, so add one and a half teaspoons of oil. You basically just need to coat the bottom of your skillet. So the quinoa is just coming to a boil now. I'm gonna cover it, reduce it to a simmer, and cook it for 15 minutes. Add your fish in a single layer. If you need to, you can do this in two batches and cook about four minutes per side. The hardest thing with fish is knowing when it's done and not overcooking it. If you overcook it, it will fall apart because fish is really delicate and it cooks really quickly. So just keep an eye. Using a nonstick skillet is a great way to cook fish if you're, you're sauteing. So I need to hurry up and ABP the rest of my salad Otherwise, my fish will overcook. So dice a half an English cucumber. You're basically making a uh, quinoa tabbouleh. So instead of bulgur, you're using quinoa, which is really high in protein. I can't say enough good things about quinoa, so I'm not gonna say anything at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> Chop up a third of a cup of fresh dill. Such an amazing, fragrant herb. I love it. Maybe I'm gonna get off of parsley and cilantro and straight onto the dill bandwagon. What do you guys think about that? All right, add that to your cucumbers. Time to turn the fish. Be really careful. This is the part everybody's afraid of, but like I was saying, in the non-stick skillet, you really shouldn't have a problem. Do you see this? This is a fish spatula, specially designed to slide under delicate fish fillets and not break them. So I highly recommend that you get one if you don't have one and you wanna start cooking more fish. I have this feeling that I'm gonna break one of these. <laughs> and all of my lecturing about being careful and nonstick skillets will have gone out the window. And I'll look like a total idiot. <laughs> Is that gonna happen? Please say no. I recommend lifting it from the thicker side and turning it over delicately. If you lift it from the thinner side, it probably will come off. All right, I only have a couple more minutes to finish my salad, but luckily for me, that will not be a problem. Four more minutes, and then I have one and a half ounces of feta cheese. I'm gonna crumble that right into the salad. The cheese can go right in with your cucumbers and stuff, but now I wanna wait until the quinoa is done because I wanna dress everything all together. And I think my fish might be done. Oh yeah, I can see that it is. I'm gonna remove the fish from the pan so it doesn't continue cooking, but look, this is how you can tell if it's done. Just take your spatula or the very tip of a paring knife, go into the thickest part, and you should be able to easily pull it apart and there should be no translucency in the very center. That's for fully cooked fish. So you wanna take it off before it overcooks because fish cooks really fast, which is what makes it such a great fast weeknight meal. So because my quinoa is not quite done and I don't want my fish to overcook, I'm just gonna carefully remove it from the pan, place it flat on a plate. When all the liquid is absorbed, turn the quinoa off and just let it sit for about five or 10 minutes to absorb all of the moisture and fluff a little bit and then take a fork and fluff it. All the little grains should be separate and it should be nice and fluffy. 
You might want to let it sit for a minute or two to cool off before you add it to your vegetables. So maybe I will dress my salad now while I let this cool off a little bit and then I'll add this. Dress your salad with olive oil, lemon juice, and salt. You may need to adjust the seasoning after you add your quinoa, so just take that into consideration. Make sure that you let your quinoa cool slightly before you add it to your salad, and then gently toss, and you can serve this room temperature or cold. You can make this in the morning. This only takes about 20 minutes for the quinoa start to finish. Mix that together. I want to give it a taste and see if the seasoning is good because I added all that quinoa. Mmm, it's good. Needs a little bit more oil. And then it's really good. I'm so happy. I love quinoa so much. You're going to love quinoa so much once you start making it. And once you conquer your fear of cooking fish, there's no telling where you'll go in life. Give yourself a little bit of the salad, put a piece of fish or two on top, dinner is served. You're going to be really excited about quinoa and fish after you make this 20 minute dinner. Taste it and say, oh my gosh, who knew it could be that easy? <laughs> There's no telling where you will go from here. Quinoa and tilapia, a match made in heaven.